Hi guys, it's John from Broad Beard Oils here. In this video I'd like to talk to you about beard comb and how to choose the best one for your beard. Um, there's a few things to look at when it comes to choosing a beard comb. A lot of people think it's easy, you just go into the supermarket, pick up one off the shelf, one of the small plastic ones for 50 pence, but you got to watch for the, the plastic combs. A lot of the time they've been made in a mould and they'll have a rough edge around them. That is pretty dangerous for your beard, it can snag the beard, it can slice the hair or even tug it and pull it out of the follicle, which obviously you do not want. The combs that we go for are all natural. We've had a couple in the past, but I'll explain why we moved to the new one uh, shortly. So yeah, you go with all natural, Ours is, this one is made from sandalwood. We like the wood because it takes on some of the oil, and when it does, it helps glide through the facial hair a lot easier. So it's nice to get a little bit build up oil, it will help it uh, go through the hair. This is all natural, as I said, it's made from sandalwood. Uh, it does have a metal clip in it, so it's not 100% natural. <laughs> it's got a, a metal hinge in it. Um, the other thing to look at is the teeth spacing as well. With the plastic combs, a lot of them do have really narrow teeth. But with ours, you want to go with teeth spacing that isn't too narrow and it's not too wide. So our combs in the past, the ones I just mentioned, looking back on them, the teeth spacing was too wide. Um, it wasn't getting all the hair evenly distributed. So we took our time with this one getting it right. The the teeth spacing isn't too narrow that it will catch and snag the hair, but it's not too wide that it will miss some hairs as well. So it's a perfect spacing, it will evenly distribute the hair. Yet it's small enough to do the moustache as well. So you can point the moustache to the side, or style it, however you like to do it. Another thing to look at is the length of the teeth. If you've got a bushy beard, you want to get longer teeth so you can get right down to the skin underneath which will get rid of the dry skin, it'll exfoliate and massaging the, the skin will help draw the blood to the follicle which in turn can help promote hair growth. One other thing to consider and it's quite important is the size. This looks quite big but it folds. It folds into a real small size, can fit in your pocket which is important to take with you. Like I said in the beard brush video, we stay in Scotland, it's windy all the time. The weather today has been amazing, but it's still been windy, so I've been carrying this about with me all day. So when I come into the office, I can comb it back into place, and I'm good to go. And I think that's it guys, I think that's pretty much it. All the things you need to consider. Uh, the material, make sure there's no rough edges on it. In fact, that's one other thing, is the teeth. When it comes to the teeth, some, br uh, some combs sorry, are square cut. You gotta watch for them as well, they might have a rough edge on them which again can tear up the hair. The teeth that we've got, we've made sure they've been rounded off so they, they glide through nice and smooth and they won't catch the hair. So yeah, that is it. All natural, the teeth, pay attention to the teeth. Make sure they're not square edged, make sure they're not rough, make sure they're the right length. And that's it really, the size. Make sure it folds in your pocket and they're nice and sturdy. Um, these are available at our website, the link is below if you'd like to check them out. Thanks again for watching the video, I appreciate your time, thank you.